Since you are here, you need to know more about Scrum, so let's go. I am Nasser and in this video I'll talk with you quickly about Scrum. So normally, in the past, we have only one, one approach for managing the projects, which is a waterfall. In this one, you know exactly what you need to know, the customer needs what, you want, what, what, what he or, or, or she wants to know, and it's clear. Then you set the plan and you achieve this plan. But recently, since we have a lot of other projects that need a lot, uh, that ha have a lot of changes and, and, uh, and uh, un un unfixed or unstable requirement from the customer, so that you need to work in a flexible way and in this way we, we call it like or it's called like agile or uh, adaptive or uh, change driven okay so in this way you just work in in a small period of of time to achieve a small amount of output and in this way you deliver to the customer incrementally or you give the customer uh, each small period of time a small amount of work so this is the theme of the of the agile under, under the Agile, we have a lot of, or, or mainly five, mainly five um, frameworks. The most popular one of them is the Scrum. And in the Scrum, uh, you apply the theme or the mindset of the Agile, and mainly Agile, like you are ready to, to receive the change, or you are flexible to accept the customer change. That This is the mindset of the Agile. As summary of now, you have two ways to manage your project, either, either to work waterfall or traditional or to work agile or uh, adaptive okay maybe some companies they, they they decided to work in third one which is hybrid between both of them to know one more information about scrum you need to know that we have six principles about scrum number one it's empirical process control in which you learn from the first phase of the project to apply it in the next stage or the next the next phase or the next sprint of the project second principle is it's self-organizing. It means that you should teach your team and you should work with your, with your team that they work with target and achieve the target. No need to have day-to-day -day or minute-to-minute -minute supervision from the project manager or the scrum manager. Third one is collaboration. You need to work with the stakeholders and team to achieve the collaborated objective for the project. The fourth principle is focusing on value. You don't focus on the processes, you don't focus on the procedures, but you focus on achieving value to the customer or to your organization. The fifth principle, principle is time box or time boxing uh, frame. So for example, in the, in the Scrum, we, we do like day-to-day -day or daily uh, stand-up meeting or Scrum daily meeting, which is like 10 to 15 minutes. Also, each sprint, each sprint, like each amount of tasks, it's done in time boxing. I mean, it's either starting from one week to four weeks time frame. And the last principle here is iterative development. I mean, when you do something, you are ready to enhance or to modify or even to change what you have done for the new uh, requirement or to achieve or to align your movement in order to reach the customer target. This is about the Scrum principles and now we talk about the processes of uh, or the framework of the Scrum. And normally here we have main five processes to apply in order to achieve our value to the customer. So first we know the value and then we apply those processes to achieve that value. So number one, initiate. Number two, I mean the process number one, initiate. Process number two, plan. Process number three, you implement. I mean, you, you initiate the project, you plan what you need to do, you implement what you have planned, and then you review uh, to make sure that it's approved, and then you make like, like some lesson learned or retrospective, and this process number four, and then you release what you have done to the customer, and then you can repeat this process in frequent way. We are done for now. To, to help you more, I will give you a free copy of the S-Book, which is Scrum Body of Knowledge, provided by Scrum Study. And you can visit the Scrum Study at any time. And this is the gift number two. I will give you free course and a free exam and also free certificate, which is Scrum Fundamental Certified. Just fill in the below link to give you this free book and to provide you the course of Scrum Fundamental uh, Certified course and tell you how to take the free exam to be certified. Also, the third thing I will provide to you is discount for the courses that are provided by scrumstudy.com, such as Agile Master Certified, Scrum Master Certified, uh, Product Owner Certified, all of those you can, you can find them on the scrumstudy.com with certain prices 
just check, check the prices and then contact me in the below link or in the comments and I will give you a good discount to join the course and the certificate for this discounted price. Thank you, we are done and see you soon. If you could benefit from this uh, video, please hit link and subscribe to my videos to watch my future videos and see you soon. Bye bye.